Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My dear student, I hope that you will be all right. So today is the third recorded lecture related to transportation problems. So I mean, the today problem in transportation is Hungarian method. How to solve transportation problem while using Hungarian method? So Hungarian method is a substitute of assignment problem. So in my previous lecture, I used uh, an LP model, a linear programming model, to solve some specific assignment problem. So I mean, in assignment problem, we have already discussed a one-to-one -one correspondence. That means which job will be assigned to which person. And the main objective behind that LP model to find out a solution which give us a minimum cost. So Hungarian method is another substitute for the assignment model. So I'm going to discuss the Hungarian method. So I mean Hungarian method is a combinatorial optimization algorithm that solve assignment problem. Basically this technique was developed by Harold Kuhn in 1955. Basically, this method is for assigning job by one to one correspondent. So similarly, in the assignment model for which we use a linear programming model, we already discussed different constraints that it will be a one to one correspondence. Mean one person can do only one job at a specific time. So I mean the same postulate, the same rule will also be uh, apply in this Hungarian method. So this method is actually a special case of primal dual algorithm. So I mean, we already studied the uh, dual simplex method and the linear programming optimization model, how to uh, minimize the cost, how to maximize profit, specifically where there is no minus sign with the coefficient in objective function. So in that case, we use dual algorithm. So I mean, this is also a special case of that primal dual algorithm. Hungarian method, of assigning job by one for one matching to identify the lowest cost solution. So I mean, if you have difficulty to use LP model, or for example, you wouldn't be able in some cases for using the Lingo or Lindo software. So I mean, this is another good substitute. You can easily calculate that which job will be assigned to which person or which machine will be assigned to a specific job. So be able to use the Hungarian method a one for one matching is required. So I mean, once again, it's still focusing on one to one matching. Each job, for example, must be assigned to only one worker. It is also assumed that every worker is capable of handling every job. So I mean, for example, if we have four instructor and we have four different subjects. So it is important that all the instructor are capable to teach that specific course. But now the question is, because maybe some instructor will charge some more money. So I mean, how we will construct an optimal uh, feasible solution in order to minimize the cost. So it is also assumed that every worker is capable of handling every job and that the cost or value associated with each assignment combination are known and fixed, not subject to variation. Because if some variation occur, then maybe your optimal region, your optimal solution will also change. So I mean, when variation occur, then the chance of risk is also increased. So, be careful, you not need to change, you not need to bring variation in the objective function. The number of rows and column must be the same. Must be the same mean if there are four jobs, jobs in the column, so there will be four people, four person or four machine to do those jobs. So mean four by four corresponding. If we construct a matrix, last time I already mentioned the effective matrix, so there should be four jobs and there should be four person. So going uh, to solve a specific example, there is some procedures, some assumption you need to think about all those assumptions you need to understand. So the most important assumption while conducting Hungarian method on a specific problem, you need to memorize these four to five points. So in the first you need to construct a matrix subtract the smallest number in each row from every number in the row. This is called the row reduction. So for example, if you have four rows, then you need to select the smallest number in those rows. For example, if we have a two cross two matrix, okay? So in the first row, you need to point out the smallest number. In the second row, you need to point out the smallest number. Then you need to subtract that smallest number for each row. So this is called row re reduction form. Similarly, in the second step, subtract the smallest number in each column 
of the new table from every number. So when you complete the row reduction form, then you need to subtract from the new matrix because when you subtract a specific element from a specific row, then you will formulate a new matrix. Then you need to subtract the smallest number from each column. In the first step, you subtract from the row. In the second step, you will subtract a specific minimum number in each column. You need to subtract it, so you will formulate another. Then in the third step, test whether an optimum assignment can be made. You do this by determine the minimum number of lines. So if there are two zeros occur in a specific column or in a specific row, you need to cross that. You need to cross that line. You need to construct a line on that row. You need to construct a line on that column where there are two adjacent zeros. So, but first of all, you need to start from horizontal, then vertical. Needed to cross all cover of all zero. If the number of line equal, number of line mean equal, this is very, very important. Number of line equal mean if there are four jobs and four worker, if you achieve four lines, maybe the lines are vertical or maybe the line are horizontal then you achieve the optimal solution. If this is not the case, then what you will do? You will repeat step four. In the step four, if the number of line is less than the number of rows, modify the table in this way, subtract the smallest uncovered number from every. So I mean, let's suppose you need four lines, but you have only two lines occur. So I mean, you need to subtract a smallest number from those points which are not underneath, which are not below the lines okay then you need to subtract the smallest number and then you need to add that smallest number to the point where their two lines intersect when they intersect you need to add so hopefully it will be uh, it's easy but if you still feel difficulty so soon i will solve a simple example so you will understand it inshallah if you not achieve repeat step three and four until an optimal table is obtained make the assignment when you obtain an optimal solution, then we will construct an assignment. Begin with rows. So first we will start from the rows. Then we will start from the columns. And we will find out where there is only one zero. It means you need to assign that specific job, that specific machine to that specific uh, person. Okay. Match item that have zero using only one match for each row and each column. Eliminate both the row and the column after the match. So I mean this is just a simple example. So you not need to worry about these procedures. Inshallah, when I solve this problem, this example, each and everything will be crystal clear to you. So now this is a very simple example. We have A, B, C, D. We have these four workers. Let's suppose this is Adam, this is Brown, this is Cooper, and this is Daniel. Let's suppose. And we have these four jobs. So I mean each person can do only one job, but all these people are capable to do these jobs. And let's suppose just like in the effective matrix, we already uh, studied the effective matrix in the assignment problem. These are the costs. For example, if Adam do this job, then he will take $8. If Brown do this job, then he will charge $6. If Cooper do this job, then he will charge two. If Daniel do it, he will charge four. Now the question arises, which person will be assigned to which job in order to minimize my cost? So I mean, according to the instruction, subtract the smallest number in each row from every number in the row. So now we have these rows, jobs. So now you need to subtract smallest number. Which one is the smallest number? 8, 6, 2, 4. So I mean 2 is the smallest number. We need to note this number. We need to subtract this from this, from this, from this, from this. So when you subtract it, first of all, you need to notify the smallest number, which is 2. Similarly, in this row, this is my second row. This is job 2 row. 6, 7, 11, and 10. Which one is the smallest one? So definitely 6 is the smallest num number. So we need to subtract 6. So 6, when you subtract it. Similarly, in this row, 3 is the smallest number, this one. Similarly, in this row, 5 is the smallest number. So, okay. When you subtract 2 from this, so 8 minus 2 will be 6. 6 minus 2 will be 4. And 2 minus 2 will be equal to 0. And 4 minus 2 will be equal to 2. So, at this way, we will subtract 6 from the second row. 6 minus 6, 0. 7 minus 6, 1. 11 minus 6, 5. And 6 minus 6 minus 10 minus 6 is equal to 4. Similarly, from this row, 
3 is the minimum one. So 3 minus 3, 0. 5 minus 3, 2. 7 minus 3, 4. And 6 minus 3 is 3. Similarly, 5 is the minimum number in this row. So 5 minus 5, 0. 10 minus 5, 5. 12 minus 5, 7. 9 minus 5, 4. So hopefully you understand this. Now in the second procedure, the second procedure is subtract the smallest number in each column of the new table. So we generate new table. This is our new table. After the row deduction, we got this. So second uh, postulate or procedure is subtract the smallest number in each row from every number in the row and enter the result in a new table. So now in this column, which one is the minimum one? Zero. So we just write zero. In this column, four, one, two, five, which one is the minimum one? One. So we just write one. In this column, definitely zero is the minimum number. Similarly, in this two, four, three, four, which one is the minimum one? Two. Then you need to formulate a new matrix, a new table, while deducting the minimum column number. So six minus zero. So this whole column will be same. No effect will be occur. Similarly, 4 minus 1 is 3, 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 1 is 1, and 5 minus 1 is 4. Similarly, 0 is the minimum number, so 0 minus 0, 5 minus 0, so similarly this will be as it is, because something, uh, when you uh, subtract 0 from something, it will be same. Similarly, minimum number is 2, so 2 minus 2 is 0, 4 minus 2 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1 and 4 minus 2 is 2. Once again, subtract the smallest number. So we already did this. Now you need to think about the third. Test whether an optimum assignment can be made. What will be the optimum assignment? You do this by determine the minimum number of line horizontal needed to cross out all zeros. So I am just going to cross lines where there are two adjacent zeros. So this is my first line, okay. There are two zeros, so I just construct this line. And now we have two to three zeros. So I just construct another line. So now you need to think about, we have only three lines, but our optimal position is four. So we need four lines. So how we will ful fulfill this, how we will fulfill this task? So in this case, we need to repeat Step four, because we not yet get the optimal. If the number of line is less than the number of rows, just like in our example, modify the table in this way. Subtract the smallest uncovered number from every uncovered number in the table. So subtract the uncovered number. So mean these are covered because we already construct line. These are the uncovered number. Subtract the smallest number from these uncovered number. Which one is the smallest uncovered number? One, okay. Since only three lines are needed to cross out all zero and the table has four rows. This is not the optimum, optimum because we have four jobs and we have four workers. So if we get four lines, then it's mean we achieve the optimal position. But if we not achieve, if we not get four lines, it's mean we not yet get the optimal position just like in this one. So what you will do, you need to subtract smallest number from the uncovered number. Uncovered number are these six. 1, 4, 1, 4, 7, 2, smallest is 1, then you need to subtract this 1 and you need to, because in the rules, add the smallest uncommon number to the number at intersection of cross out lines. So where are the lines intersecting? This line intersect with this and this line intersecting with this. So what you will do, you will subtract 1 from these 6 points and you need to add only where their two lines intersect. So this will become 7 and this will become 1. You not need to add with the rest. Only at that point where two lines intersect when one another. So proceeding, subtract the smallest uncovered number value from every uncovered number that has not been crossed out and add it to the number that are at the intersection of covering lines. The result are as follows. So 1 minus 1, 0, 4 minus 1, 3, 1 minus 1, 0, 4 minus 1, 3, 7 minus 1, 6, 2 minus 1, 1, and 6 plus 1, 7, and 0 plus 1, 1. So we will get this table because this is 6, 6 plus 1, 7, and this is 0 plus 1, 1, and the remaining 
1 minus 1, 0, 4 minus 1, 3, 1 minus 1, 0. So 0, 3, 0. Okay. Then you need to, to, to check if you achieve the optimality condition or not. Determine the minimum number of lines needed to cross out all zeros. Since this equals the number of rows, you can make the optimum assignment. So there are two zeros. We want to construct a line just like this. There are two zeros. We want to construct a line zeros finish okay there are two zero we also construct this line so how many lines we have one two three and four it's mean we achieve the optimality condition now we will make assignment but before going to proceeding to the assignment you need to check this make the assignment begin with rows or column with only one zero so you need to find out that element in the matrix in the table where there is only one zero match item that have zero using only one match for each row and each column eliminate both the rows and the column after the match so now in this row in this column you can see in this column there is only one zero it's mean you need to assign job one to cooper so one will be assigned job one will be assigned to zero is there any other zero yes in this row we have only one zero it's mean job four will be assigned to a so you can see job four will be assigned to a okay is there any other zero yes there is in this row there is only one zero so it's mean job two will be assigned to b so job two will be assigned to b and the, the remaining one is so mean there is only one job left and there is only one person we have so you need to assign that third job to daniel okay so you already know the cost is mentioned okay the cost is mentioned then you need to do what if you assign job one to cooper he will charge two dollar you can see if you assign job one to cooper he will charge two dollar if you assign job two to b then how much he will charge if you assign job two to b he will charge seven so seven three to d six four to a five so the total cost will be twenty dollar the total cost will be twenty dollar so i mean this is another substitute of the assignment problem you can also use hungarian but the the difficulty in hungarian method it will be a one-to-one -one correspondence and the number of worker and the number of job will be equal the number of machine and the number of jobs will be equal so i mean this is a little between uh, complexity in this hungarian method so i mean uh, in the in, in the next part of this lecture i will show you how you will handle a problem where the, uh, the the problem is not symmetric symmetric mean where the number of rows and the number of column are not equal so inshallah i will uh, share you a simple example in that and you will understand the